good to remember the activists that came before. Cannabis historian, the one and only Chris Bennett, everybody. And when we talk about Cannabis History Man, we're talking about tens of thousands of years of history. According to the latest archaeological evidence, we've been making hemp fibers for 32,000 years. This comes in the forms of tools used for breaking up the fibers of hemp. We have evidence of hemp cloth, 12,000 years old, you know what I mean? So this is something that was spread out throughout the whole ancient world. Oldest evidence of burning cannabis to inhale its fumes actually comes from the Ukraine from 5,500 years ago from the Proto-Indo-Europeans. These are the same people that domesticated the horse. Even the domestication of the horse was thought to come about through the use of hemp rope. And so these same people that were making hemp rope, domesticating the horse, they burned cannabis, they spread the use of cannabis throughout the ancient world. And you know, I don't care where you're from in this world, man, your culture has a connection with this plant, whether it be in China where they've been using cannabis seeds and fiber for food and cloth for probably four or five thousand years and burning it for probably like three thousand, four thousand years, you know. The oldest pharmacopoeia is from China, the Penn South, thought to be 2700 BC. 4,700 years ago. Cannabis is probably the first medicine. Currently, they, they, they think that cavemen may have been using cannabis to fight off parasites. So this is coming from scientists, people like Dr. Guy Jeffries from uh, GW Pharmaceuticals. He suggests that cannabis played a role in the Great Leap Forward. This is when humanity was discovering things like the, uh, the, 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 the making the wheel and uh, how to control fire. So big cannabis may have played a role in that novel ability to think and create in new ways. And in Mesopotamia, in Assyria, and Babylonia, they burned cannabis in temples under the name Kanabu, and also anointed their skin with it. And this led over into the Hebrew use of it, where people like Moses used cannabosum, the Hebrew name of cannabis, and the holy anointing oils and incenses, man. Moses would cover his body in cannabis and myrrh and cinnamon oils, and then burn that on the altar of incense, and actually speak to the Lord in the pillar of smoke over the incense altar. And then in Persia, Zoroaster, man, one of the great prophets of the ancient world, used cannabis and infused wines. That was the main source of enlightenment in the Zoroastrian religion. In India, man, going back to the Stone Age, longest continually worship God on earth. Shiva is the lord of cannabis, also lord of yoga, you know what I mean? There's a whole movement of ganja yoga going on right now because that's how yoga was originally performed. You can go to India right now, see sadhus and other holy men partaking of the holy chillum in honor of Shiva before sitting down to their yoga practices. And Africa, man, it's spread all over Africa. Pygmies said that they've been using cannabis since the dawn of time, and that God gave them hemp so they'd be healthy and happy. So all over the world, people have recognized this powerful medicinal plant, man. First medicine, first sacrament, and, and probably first recreational, too, you know what I mean? Because it is about feeling good, feeling positive, and getting back into that vibration of nature. You can go to any bar here in town, I think you're closing time, you see fist fights outside of that bar. I bet you that never happens once in a medical club or a recreational club with cannabis. Just good vibes. And that's what this plant is about. And that's what it's bringing to this planet right now in this important time. We can use hemp to heal our planet, stop cutting down our old growth forests. We can move away from fossil fuels with hemp fuel. We can feed the world with the most nutritious plant on the world, hemp seed. And hemp's coming here in Oregon as well, man. There'll be a huge dehauled hemp seed, you know what I mean? We can heal our economy, what's happening here right now in Oregon. Think about not only these clubs, but all the advertising dollars, graphic artist dollars, all these sub-industries, people making concentrates, people growing it. We're talking about the billion dollar crop that Jack Hare preached about for 20 years.